Welcome to Subnautica Return of the Ancients. They've done some serious overhauling to the Return of the Ancients, and we're going to be checking out everything that they have done so far with this incredible modification. I love how official looking this is too. And uh, bonus real quick, the sound that you're hearing, the music, from what I understand, and if it's still in play, this is unreleased sound that was in the original Subnautica soundtrack. This is something they didn't actually use. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to jump in game now. Actually, I need to change my stuff back from 4K to 1920 times 1080 because I can't record in 4K. I probably could record in 4K if I had a computer from Apex Gaming PCs, however. I'm happy to announce I partnered up with Apex Gaming PCs. We've partnered up to create custom computers specifically designed to play the games that I play. So you don't have to watch my dumbass play games anymore. You can play the games at a reasonable price, too. And yes, all of them look incredible. And they push out some pretty good FPS even on games that I don't focus on. Use the link in my description for 5% off your first purchase. However, I will be working with Apex to create better discounts in the future. Now we're going to start a new game and see what the D... <laughs> now what the D... Now what the, D... <laughs> what the deal is. That is a beautiful loading screen. First off, that is absolutely gorgeous. Now I don't expect anything to be different with the introduction cinematic, so we're going to skip by that. What the fuck? Um, hello? Can you not? What the hell is going on? Why is my life pod... Is that a blo... <gasps> no, 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 no. What the fuck? Why is that there? That should not be there. <gasps> I'm a little spray, you little guy. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. So anyways, we've spawned on top of a bloop. Um, a great start to the mod, I guess. How the hell am I going to get out of here now? Because this thing's going to eat me the second I try to do anything. Okay, it's free. Ha <laughs> ha! Sucker! See you later! Sucker. Ha ha ha! All right. Um, I guess what I'll do... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you can't do... You can't... Here, you want some of this? I'll give you some. You have a little... Have a little taste. Have a little taste of fire extinguisher. Tastes good, doesn't it? Oh! Ah! Ah! Okay, I... I was kind of asking for that. To be fair. Oh, shit! Oh! Oh shit! Oh god! Why did I spawn on top of it? Wait, I was supposed to spawn in the life pod. Why is that? Wait, what? Hang on, did it eat the life pod? Is the bloop the life pod now? <laughs> Where the fu- Okay, don't do that. Hang on, I need to- I'm, uh, Did it eat the life pod? I'm supposed to spawn in the life pod. Oh my god, it ate the life pod! <gasps> okay, that wasn't supposed to be the thing. Okay, uh, anyways, uh, Return of the Ancients, not Bloop. Uh, <laughs> so, they've added brand new precursor objects, architect objects, that we can now build with. We can make an architect base, and guess what? It has reason behind it. Architect objects have their own special quirks and special benefits to having them. I'm going to show you one that keeps Leviathans away from your base and actually scares them away from you in general. The Gargantuan Leviathan as well is now a Super Leviathan. That's the only way I can describe it. It is an absolute Super Leviathan. We also need to check out the new locations that were added uh, for the Architects in general in the story. However, the main bases that uncover the story of the Architects and what they were doing with the Gargantuan Leviathan skeleton and the DNA and all that stuff, that's not in right now. They had to not have that included because it was very spoilery and it's not quite done just yet. Alien Fabricator. Well, hello. Uh, let me just roll you down. Now, you're going to need power, obviously. Um, that's one thing that I need to check out, then. Uh, let me just put this nuclear down. Go ahead, power these up. So, while this generates power, I'm just going to jump outside. And we're going to look at some of these architect uh, objects that we can bring into the world, which will be right here. Haha. <laughs> so, we have sonic deterrence along with large door structures and column structures as well. Now, some of these two are just aesthetic. You know, you, you make them and that's it. But if I throw this down right here, like so, this is the sonic deterrent. This is what we have seen in the precursor bases that were custom made, along with the alien door structure, which some of this building right now is going to be a little bit wonky. They need to work on the uh, placements and stuff of it. But this reminds me of the behemoth gates in Ark. And then obviously we have this as well, which is the alien column structure that we see in Subnautica Below Zero, I believe. This is pulsing and doing its own stuff for the SOS. But this, however, the sonic deterrent, 
literally does what it says. It deters life forms. By that, I mean Leviathans. If I spawn a Reaper Leviathan, the Reaper Leviathan is instantly deterred because of the sonic pulses coming from the sonic deterrent. Now, it does not work with the Gargantuan Leviathan. Of course, he's coming back. He's coming back, and he just does not want anything to do with me. Watch this. What? Come on. Come here, little guy. Yeah, he's he's not he's not coming any close. Oh wait, no, he is coming closer. Okay, now he's moving away again, like a ghost leviathan. So ghost leviathans there just spawned it in. It wants nothing to do with it. It wants away from the sonic deterrent. That is so cool. I love that these precursor structures actually have reason and they have functionality as well. They're gonna be great to have in the lava zone and, and those areas too. Now on top of that, they've also added uh these things right here. We've got alien lights. So this will literally glow green. It will make things glow green. Pretty self-explanatory. We have pedestals here with brand new elements that have been added as well. Uh, these elements are used in the alien fabricator to create precursor type stuff. What are you doing over there, little guy? But it looks like these are animated too. Yeah, they're animated too, which is pretty cool. And then we have these uh, alien lights too and the pedestals that move around as well. See, like a fire extinguisher. Suddenly it's a holy relic. All hail the fire extinct we sure of death okay uh anyways right, let's go in here i do want to see what we can make with the alien fabricator the architect fabricator and what that has to do uh with everything else let me just see real quick a normal fabricator right here so that's the normal fabricator that's the alien one custom model they've been doing a lot of custom stuff kind of cool Ooh, it has animations too i think it just used the animations from the fabricator yeah, so it's just a remodel fabricator, basically, and you can make stuff with it. Decorations. Well, hello! I want to make some of these. What are you? This is going to be... Oh. Well, that's quite attractive. I like that sound. Leviathan holographic projector, so you get holograms, too, and stuff? That's kind of cool. Ooh. I really like this. That's so cool. What else can we make? Uh, so upgraded versions of these. Well, it's the ion power cells, obviously, and stuff. And then this, you can pick this up, I think. Yeah, reclaim once it's deployed. Then you have some perimeter defense stuff, equipment, a warp cannon, which is not accessible right now. And the ion cube, alien composite glass, power cube, electric cube, and alien alloy. So these are used for specific stuff that you can make through this. I assume the warp cannon and all that stuff. But I want to see what is the deal with these lovelies right here. Oh, well, hello. That is the loading screen. Yeah, that's the loading screen. That's kind of cool. I like that it's, um. yeah, that's that's really cool. I like that. And what about you? This is probably just the logo, is it? Yeah, this is the official logo for Return of the Ancients. I like that. That's cool. Okay, so anyways, moving on from uh, this into the rasting stuff. It, it is actually really cool, but um, I don't want to spend too much time on the items and objects that you can uh you can create i, I just i want to see one thing uh there was something here i thought i had seen uh we have the alien map which i don't think it's much of a map no it's not it's not really much of a map uh and then the lights obviously we have this stuff alien platform i, I don't can i put this down no i can't uh the dissection tank oh shit hang on this wait could i put that down oh oh god that's cool Oh, wow, you could, yeah, you could totally make, like, a cool badass architect base if you wanted to using this. That's really cool. Uh, empty relic case. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, that's enough on that. I need to, I need to get out of here. I'm gonna set it to day. Go to, let's see what we can go to. What? Spe destroyed Guardian Boy Base, Research Base. What is, go to Destroyed. Okay, this is, uh, this looks like it's custom. What is this? Hello? I'm gonna scan you. Mysterious wreckage? It's wreckage! It's architect wreckage. What is architect wreckage doing here? What is it? It looks like it's snake-like. Has a lot of positions it can move in. Oh, hang on. It has lights. Oh, that's cool. Where are we? Are we at the void? We're at the edge of the world, I think. Yeah. Uh... Oh, hang on a second. This this looks like it might be like an architect vehicle or something or like a architect. No. Yeah, this looks like it'd be an architect submarine or something. That's what this looks like. 
yeah, straight up. I think this is a, a crash. It's the Guardian. So I guess this was literally shoved into the mountain by a gargantuan leviathan or, or something very powerful. Yeah, so I wonder what this plays into the story then. There is no data entry for it. I can't I can't get a NC for it, but it's called Mysterious Wreckage. Yeah, it looks like it might just literally be an architect vehicle or submersible unmanned drone that would have maybe been patrolling the areas around here. And look, I bet this is going to be an object or a thing that we encounter, kind of like the robots uh, that we see in the uh, precursor bases. Maybe this is something we'll see actively moving around in the world. And this is just one of them severely damaged and crushed against a rock, an unmanned drone. That'd be kind of cool to see. If I go to Void Base, what are you? Where am I? I guess it's self-explanatory. I'm in the void. Warning. Yeah, this is the void. So then, wait. That... Oh, shit. Oh, there's a camera shake now. I know it's bigger, but camera shake is cool. Oh shit. It's loud as hell. Oh, sh oh shit. <gasps> oh, that is ominous as hell. Look at the glow it has now. And what I was going to say is this up right here, we're literally just teleported down a little ways from the drone. Oh my God. They really did increase. Oh. <gasps> Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, that is beautiful as hell. <gasps> oh, you are so good looking. That is thought that is literally thumbnail worthy. Look at those eyes. Oh, shit. So what I needed to talk to you about, and the only thing I really knew about this. Oh, there's a ghost Leviathan dying. Um, is the fact that this creature is now even bigger. I don't necessarily agree with it because it is already so colossally big it breaks within the world anyways. Uh, but apparently they did the math, they did everything out, and they were they got it wrong with the size of this and the skull. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Okay, well I can't I can't scan it. It doesn't uh, it doesn't give me the option. But what I was saying is they did the math out and they checked things out with this creature. And there's a catch twenty two with this. So the head. The skull is now actual size to what you find in the Lost River, the remains of the Gargantuan Leviathan. However, the body size and just how long this thing is because of the scale up to make the head that size is inaccurate now. It is a lot longer, I think, than what it should be, um, even in the PDA entry. This thing is freaking long, like really long as in i can't go to the tail of this without it actually breaking and despawning it is so long look at the tail it's still coming in the background absolutely massive give you an idea hang on sub cyclops so i'll spawn a cyclops submarine look at the size of the cyclops submarine compared to this guy just come over don't be shy don't be shy just come over come on come over here just 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 look, nudge, nudge the little Cyclops submarine. Look at the, look, look. Its eyes alone are the size of the engine compartment. It is massive. I feel like for the sake of the mod and the viability of the Gargantuan Leviathan, they should scale it down a little. Oh shit. It should scale it down a little bit. I think it could still grab the Cyclops. Look at, like, look. The Cyclops can literally fit under its skin comfortably almost. Look, the Cyclops literally fits under its skin comfortably. It's just like... It's like one of those uh, uh, microchips you'd get for your pet to track them and like, you know, vet records and stuff. That's literally what the Cyclops equates to now for this thing. Are you going to bite it? I know you could still grab it. Don't be shy. It's okay. Just, just. But the Gargantuan Leviathan in essence is now a super Leviathan. This, that's the only term. That's the only way I can accurately describe this creature now. And it's not even done. Like, they're not... Do okay, it's going sideways to keep track of what I'm doing. What, what are you doing? Come on. Okay, grab me. Grab... Look at the tongue. Tongue alone is as big as the Cyclops. Come on. Grab me. There we go. So it still has its custom attack, too, but since it's scaled up so much, it kind of bugs out. And let go of me. You can you can let go now. Okay. Oh, and it throws... No, it throws itself. Oh! <laughs> okay. Bye. 
I do. Great talk. I had, I had fun with you. While, oh my God. Yeah, that's huge. That's absolutely huge. That's what she said. And it's coming back for more. So anyways, before it comes back, I'm going to go to research base. Okay. I'm going to go to the research base. Uh, now, this is part of what I told you will not be in right now. Uh, they removed the research bases and the architect bases in general. The reason they had to do that, again, story spoilers. However, I can show you something quite interesting down right here. Uh, these structures that we're going to see in a second when it zooms in. Are you gonna love There it is right there. So that is the sonic disruptor, the, the sonic deterrent, whatever you want to call it. Um, that is what keeps Leviathans away in general. Why do I still hear the Cyclops music? Probably because I teleported out of it. So yeah, that's this thing basically... The hell are you? It's an air bubble. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click you. Uh, no, come here. Come here. Wait, why is it pushing me away? What the hell? It doesn't want me to go near it. Okay. Okay, so then that's basically the same. And it has... Oh, okay. I think that's a custom icon. Wait, what's this? Three. What's number three? Oh, shit. Ah! 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 What the... Did oh, it's the alien robots it was highlighting. I, I hear them. I just don't see them. Wait, where are the alien robots? Are they under it? Oh, yeah, they're under it. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, But that's basically that right there. And now we have access to alien signals. We have an alien signal down there uh, and an alien signal right there. What the hell is that? That's not an air bubble. Hello? Contained singularity? Hello? What are you? What you be? What you do? Nothing? What is it? It's, a, it's like keeping me away from it, too. What the hell? It's like it doesn't want me to go near it. What the hell is the contained singularity? I can't. I literally can't go near it. Oh, shit. Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. Oh, do not touch. What do you mean, do not touch? Oh. Well, there goes the Aurora. Okay, so that was that. Do not touch. What do you mean, do not touch? No. Uh, hang on. Okay, all right. Um. Do not attempt. You will be destroyed. I... Warning. Death imminent. Um, is this the troll that they were talking about? It just it just spits out voice lines to you? I, the devs told me and other YouTubers that are, that are going to be recording this mod uh, that there was a surprise put in. Like a little troll whatever. Um, I think it just talks to you. That's Warning. it. Warning. Death imminent. Yeah, that, that's literally... Oh, wait. Oh, uh, save file corrupted. Save file cor Wait, 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 wait a second. That's not cool. That's really not cool. Save file corrupted and it just puts your screen to this. What? That's not cool. It has to be a troll. They wouldn't they wouldn't just make it so it it, it ruins your save. Like I mean, if if we were recording a series, I'd be pissed. I'd be absolutely pissed. So it doesn't actually corrupt anything. I'm just kidding. It doesn't it doesn't do anything at all. It literally saves your game and then trolls you with that message. It's just a singularity that they added in to to have a little bit of fun with the YouTubers and anyone else who might be messing around with this. So I just warped to this base here, but there is literally nothing there. The alien signal is right here. Uh, and there is nothing right now. I, e, uh, there is something here, emerald. And, and then I'll warp to this one too. The alien structure is supposed to be right here. And there is absolutely nothing because again, it is spoiler stuff. They completely devlocked it to make sure that no one would spoil it and, uh, ruin the surprises because there's some pretty big damn surprises. But anyways... That is everything on Subnautica right now and the return of the Ancients. Guys, Super Leviathans, all that fun stuff. I have a feeling they're going to be adding some architect manned or uh, unmanned vehicle drones or something. Something interesting is going to happen, and I think it's going to be sick when it happens. But guys, that is it for now. Leave a like if you did enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section on the size of the Gargantuan Leviathan as well. And if you think it should be shrunk down a little bit because it's pretty damn big right now. Okay. I will see you in the next one.